Calcium Oxide Determination in Portland Cement Portland cement is the most commonly used type of cement in the world. During its production at over 1300 degrees Celsius, calcium oxide is formed as a byproduct. In the final product, Portland cement should ideally contain approximately 1% or less of free calcium oxide. FTIR is a quick and easy way to determine the amount of free calcium oxide in Portland cement and a great alternative to wet chemical methods like the DIN EN1744-1 standard. But that's not all, as infrared spectroscopy is able to determine the carbonation degree of cement and even test sulfate content. In this video, we will demonstrate the quantification of calcium oxide by using FTIR spectroscopy. These five Portland cement samples will be analyzed using the DRIFTS technique. DRIFTS stand for Diffuse Reflectance Infrared Fourier Transform Spectroscopy and is perfect to analyze fine powders like cement or soil. But first, we have to measure the background to prepare the device for the actual sample measurement. We can then use this background for multiple samples in quick succession. A gold mirror will serve as a reference and we place it into the DRIFTS module. Next, we follow Bruker's simple step-by-step -step guide in the Opus Touch software. The background has finished and we can prepare the cement sample with the help of a sample guide and a spatula. The sample is carefully distributed within the sample cup without using pressure. The sample guide is then rotated downwards and the sample cup removed to be placed on the DRIFTS module. Immediately, a preview IR spectrum will be shown in the software and after checking it, we can start our measurement with just one click. After a few seconds, we get the result and a green check mark indicates that calcium oxide was found. And because calcium oxide is present, the software has automatically started a quantification and the percentage of calcium oxide contained in the sample is displayed at the top of the screen, 1.038%. So, the sample is just within the specified acceptance limits, which is shown in the graph on the top right. You can view the IR spectrum in more detail by clicking on the magnifying glass on the left, or you can save the result as a PDF file under the Print Report button. Afterwards, you can commence the analysis of the next sample by clicking Next Sample. This way, you can test your Portland cement and get through quality control quickly and easily. Thank you for watching and see you soon.